Now let's take a look at restoring a database. Now this can be kind of interesting sometimes and I would point you to the documentation for all the various situations and issues that can come up when you're trying to restore a database. What I want to show you here is the graphical version in the Server Management Studio for restoring a database. Now notice I've been doing backups on the sales database but so now I want to restore from one of those backups. I right click the database choose tasks from the pop-up menu go down to restore and notice I want to restore a database. Now keep in mind if, I want, if I've been backing up individual files or file groups I can get those but for the database you'll notice it sees out there uh, a database backup for sales and it's got it for me to back up. Now I can choose if I want to bring in the transaction logs that were out there as well from the full backup before and the transaction log backups and so notice what's going to happen here. If I tell it OK it's going to run and I'm going to get an error and it's going to tell me wait a minute wait a minute the tail of the log for sales has not been backed up it's telling me wait a minute dude you've got a transaction log out here because this is a uh, full recovery database that has not been backed up so if you back this thing up if you restore this you're going to lose all those changes so if you want to really do this you're going to have to use the with replace or stop at clause of the restore statement to tell me what to overwrite. Well the way I do that graphically is if I go to options you'll notice I can tell it overwrite the existing database and notice I can prompt before uh, restoring I can restrict the access to the restored database notice the original file name is sales MDF and I can restore it as pull it back over here and get some more of this I can restore it as sales MDF or I can change it if I'd like. Now notice down here, remember the recovery, no recovery I talked about? Notice, leave the database ready to use by rolling back uncommitted transactions. Additional logs cannot be restored. If I, want, if I have more logs I want to restore, I click this and I can leave the database in read-only mode. This is for standby servers, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. So I want to restore and recover. I want to overwrite the existing database. I hit OK. And you'll notice it's executing. No problem. My restore completed successfully. Now this is a really small database. Obviously in the real world when you have a large database it's going to take longer than that to do. Okay? You want to be real careful with restores. One of the worst things that you can do is restore the right data over the wrong database. So you actually destroy data in the process of restoring it. So be very careful about where you're restoring and watch the error messages. It'll try to notice when you're restoring the wrong uh, file names over other file names and so forth. So pay close attention to error messages. Don't assume it's just being cantankerous and overwrite everything. Really check it out.